Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. Here to Erling speaking friends. Uh, exciting week. Bonjour à tous. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. Uh, und uns zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Herzlich willkommen. Neue Episode Journey to the Chateau. Uh, interessante Woche. Right, and uh, this is still the week before Christmas. And uh, we recently went to visit Tony and Jane in Lanier because their town was having its Marche de Noël. Very cute. Yes. And Patrick has been busy. Yes, I did uh, a recycling project. Right. Which was actually really, really cool. I've, uh, so I recycled the headboard that we had and uh, we're looking for for a headboard that will fit this room but unless we, until we find one and that might be uh, in March or it might be in a year and a half. So. Right, and again we're talking we're talking about the, uh, oh, yes. the, the our guest room we've been redecorating that's the bed and breakfast room is the one we're talking about. Yeah. Right. And we and we have been looking and we just haven't found anything that we, we like yet. Right. So we figured before we don't have a headboard, um, we got fabric and it's the same fabric that will be on the bed crumb. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, people either will love it or they will hate it or dislike it, let me put it that way. And that's okay. We don't know yet either. So have a look. Okay, the sewing machine is out, and uh, we are, well, we decided that uh, we are reusing our existing headboard, which we had from the United States. I actually had that, good Lord, a long time ago, so it's almost an antique, <laughs> uh, but we're going to recover it. So, and I'm going to now also start to sew the curtains uh, soon uh, for the bed crown, which I first I need to rewire the bed crown so that they can even be hung on something. But this is first for recovery of the headboard. But I know how long it needs to be and how wide. How about that?
drape that uh, around there. So this is how I think I need to sew this. I've never done this before, so bear with me. This might be a disaster. Okay, mistletoe for Jane and Tony. We're going over there today. Why am I not putting my glasses on? Don't answer that. <laughs> I might not want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is actually making a bow. Now you might say, what, what, are you, what do you mean you make a bow? You're putting big ornaments in there, which is true. I think it looks nice. So I have two different lengths of the bow. This is looks like a very, you know, organic uh, fabric, very cute, with trees on it. Christmas or pine trees, actually. There's, there's. I mean, it's, it's just a pine tree, right? There's no Christmas about a pine tree, really. Uh, unless we make it into a Christmas tree. Anyway, so, left, right, left, right, two, four, five, six arches, I don't know how they're called. Loops. Loops, six loops, thank you. I feel loopy. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the ribbon. No, and it's too early for anything else in the day, so I'm just loopy. So, we have this. And I'm now just, just, I hate that word, and I determine to use it all the time. It's kind of pathetic, isn't it? So, and make sure that it is actually quite tight, because there's nothing sadder than a beautiful bow <laughs> kind of deflates itself. It goes all floppy, yes. Yes, yeah, so not, it's just not good. So let's see, and I think I got Jane the same ribbon last year. So it's a theme until I run out of this ribbon. And then can also, you know, pull them in different directions so it's not quite so ever so simple. Make sure they turn to the front. So you want the pretty part to the front and yes, those are upside down and that just is what it is with some ribbons. So this is my hook to hang it up. And maybe I need to do a bit more twisting here. And I'm pushing that through here where, let me show you, there is all the, the other wiring here, but it has to come out at the other side at the, at the same 
gap and it of course does not not right now but it will eventually one hopes it's one of those days when most things decide they do not want to properly cooperate there got it Okay, so that is the mistletoe that we're taking tonight for their Christmas party to the dinner. So uh, the next step would be uh, the bed crown. Right? Yes. So and it's it's kind of it's really funny because uh, it is almost an identical bed crown to the, the one that Terry and I have, and we bought each of us had this for months already. Um, ours was in in much better condition, so we didn't we had to restore it a little, but not rebuild it like Terry. Uh, but the the fun thing is, and and it's really the beauty of it, is that it will look completely different and that's what makes it beautiful right right so that will be this friday's episode about yes. the, about doing the bed crown so that's it for this episode if you like please give us a thumbs up uh recommend us to your friend and subscribe it doesn't cost us anything and don't forget to turn on the notification button right and if you want to support the renovation of the chateau you can join us on patreon or buy us a coffee and we will see you on friday thank you so much au revoir auf wiedersehen bye goodbye <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.